Lucifer has had quite the story so far. But did you know that the casting directors had something completely different in mind when it came to their cast? If you remember the pilot, you'll know that Detective Dan looks much different than he does now. But hey, enough talking. Let's see the five actors who were almost cast in Lucifer. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 5. Lena Esco almost played Maze. We'd be lying if we didn't admit Maze was one of our absolute favorites on the show. Ever since we saw her in the first season, we knew that she was a badass. That pilot was such a long time, and Maze has had the time to evolve as a character. Plus, she met her mom this last season. What you might have not known, however, is the fact that the director had someone else in mind for the role of Maze. The first actress they went with was none other than Lynn Esco. She's the 35-year-old American actress from Miami who started her career by appearing in a small role on the series CSI New York way back in 2006. Since then, she has starred in movies like Kingsway in 2010, LOL two years after that, and Free the Nipple a little more than a year since the release of Lucifer's pilot. Even though they signed a contract in 2015, something went wrong. You see, there wasn't much info about what had happened, why the casting director decided to change his mind last minute. But there were rumors that following the first table read, the directors changed their mind and decided to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, they actually decided to go on with their second choice, which was Leslie Ann Brandt. After leaving Lucifer, Esco immediately landed two more roles, one as Kara in Flaked, while the other was Floris in Kingdom. Oh, and the major role she's had since then is Christina Alonso in SWAT, which she's been a part of for three seasons now. It seems to us that she didn't like Maze's Blades and went for major firearms instead. Now, the actress that got the role of Maze was Leslie Ann Brandt. She was the girl that went into the edition and she didn't really care if she would get the role. She just wanted to do the character justice and during what became a lengthy audition process, she managed to land this role. Despite the initial decision of the casting directors, she says this is a lesson for all the young actors out there. Persistence pays off. You were gonna leave me. I would never do that. But you told him in a deal and your mom that you... Number four. Margot Robbie was supposed to play Detective Chloe Decker. That's right, folks. A little birdie told us that the director and the writers initially attended for Margot Robbie to play Detective Chloe Decker. In the beginning, there were rumors about this famous movie star to appear in Lucifer as one of the leading roles. But financial problems must have turned the producers off. Whenever a big name like Margot Robbie is set to appear in a TV show, that means trouble. Why? Because they're not cheap. Some of them can run the production millions and millions of dollars, and that's going per episode. Since Margot is one of the best in Hollywood, as well as the most beautiful, then it wouldn't come as a surprise that she would demand a high paycheck. This Australian actress has made her debut in the soap opera Neighbors. Then she continued her career by taking the leading role for movies like The Wolf of Wall Street, Suicide Squad, Focus, and Tarzan. And getting such an expensive actor to play the lead in a series can double or triple the cost of production. Even though we didn't really see Margot Robbie in Lucifer, fans did get to talking, and many of them agree that Lauren Gurman looks pretty much the same as Margot. Some have even stated that Lauren looks like a cross between Margot Robbie and Mila Jovovich. And once we read that, our jaws dropped to the freaking floor. I mean, seriously? Just look at Mila and Margot, and then look at Lauren. The resemblance is uncanny. Maybe that's why they wanted to have Margot as one of the leads in Lucifer. Please don't go. I, I love you. Number 3. Nicholas Gonzalez almost played Detective Dan Espinoza. Unlike our previous picks, Nicholas Gonzalez was actually cast in the pilot. He was part of it and he was out after one episode. Now, even though we don't really like Detective Dan because he's a huge douche and we were still wondering why the series decided to leave him out of Lucifer 
after just one episode. And you know what? The showrunners never gave us any indications as to why they did it. Nicholas was just scrapped from the project and he was replaced within the next thing, which was Kevin Alejandro. Things like this just happen. And it's not uncommon for the cast to change well after the pilot airs. That's why it's called the pilot. They see what's working and what isn't. So they adjust accordingly. Otherwise, they risk losing the audience. Unfortunately, this time it was Gonzalez who was replaced. Nicholas is a 44-year-old American actor who has played Dr. Neil Melendez in The Good Doctor. And of course, the role he's most famous for, Alex Santiago in Resurrection Boulevard. Some other roles include those in The Purge, Anarchy, Ghost Whisperer, Ugly Betty, True Blood, CSI Miami, Sleepy Hollow, The Flash, and a ton of others. And though he's a good actor, it seems like Kevin left more of an impression on the showrunners. So this four-year-old actor was actually cast to play Detective Dan, the ex-husband of Chloe and the father of Trixie. Like, what do you want, Mike? Like, not like me. Like, in life, what do you want? <clears throat> and number two, there were rumors about Tom Hanks playing God. We would have loved to see this happen in this last season of the show. But with our luck, this didn't come to fruition. And the one guy that would have been crazy about this new addition to the cast would be Tom Ellis. That's right, Tom is actually a huge fan of Tom. The Lucifer star has said that he loves every single movie Tom Hanks does, which means he has already watched every single one of them. But that's not all. Ellis has even stated that his idol manages to bring a dose of humor and humanity to each and every single role he does. This means character like Gump and Forrest Gump, Chuck Nolan and Castaway, Captain Miller and Saving Private Ryan, and many, many more make viewers relate to the movie and the story. This is partly the reason why Tom Hanks has earned two Academy Awards for the movies Philadelphia and Forrest Gump. And just like Ellis, we think that Tom would be a great addition to the cast of Lucifer, especially if he played the role of God in the fifth season. But we know that Dennis Haysburg managed to land that role. So it seems like Tom Ellis' dream of playing alongside his idol will have to wait until some future project. Oh, and Ellis even said that Tom Hanks has a bit of a childlike glee, which makes his character compelling. Children, you know I hate it when you fight. Number 1. Ian Summerhalder to replace Tom Ellis as Lucifer Even though Ellis had some problems with Warner Bros, they managed to sort them out, and this remained just a rumor that was spread by fans of Ian Summerhalder. Ian was a star in Netflix V Wars, but since the show got cancelled after the first season, the actor came out and said that doesn't plan on signing a contract with Netflix anytime soon. This further disproved the myth that our favorite devil will become obsolete for season 6 of Lucifer. But that's not to say that he didn't have problems with Warner Bros. Since negotiations were still going on for season 6 of the show, we were left wondering if they are going to continue Tom's contract. And even though they were trying to agree on the details since March, in May, the contract had finally been signed and Ellis would once again play the final season of the show but he has some major problems with the studio. You see, during that process of negotiations, Tom Ellis was being over-demanding and the production house had to put an end to it. We don't know if it was money or working hours or maybe even his schedule, but we just know that he had some major issues with his contract. That's when one source came and said the following, everyone wants Tom to be happy, but there's a limit and it's been reached. This means that the show star was asking way too much, and they came very close to giving him the boot. However, tensions did calm down, and he reprised his role on the show. And we understand why some of the fans thought that he would lose his job. Even Warner Bros. was pushed beyond the breaking point. But either way, it all turned out for the best in the end, and we will surely be seeing more of our favorite devil in the final season of this show. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, do you know any other actors who were almost cast in Lucifer? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.